Hey, Gay, it was great to see you out at the house today. What a beautiful house. Great location, too, by the way. Let's take a moment. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, inspection report, see how it reads out. Upper right-hand corner is a legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. BC comments below. C repairs needed. D need further evaluation or E not applicable. Placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Let's take a look at the living room fireplace. Living room fireplace, open wood burner. Both fireplaces in the upper uh, profile area is missing mortar. This is where the, the surround and the fireplace actually meet. So this black surround and the fireplace meet, and there's a big gap. You could just look in, look up, and you could see all the way up into the wood parts uh, up underneath the mantle. This has to be filled with refractory cement for safety. Uh, behind this damper, somebody stuffed some insulation. I guess they felt like there was a draft coming down there. Um, but anyway, it needs to be removed if you're going to uh, build a fire in there. So the, da the uh, insulation has to be removed prior to using this fireplace. We're talking about the living room. Let's, uh, let's move into the den. Den has a working set of vented gas logs. You can see they're working. I think if the logs were moved around a little bit, you'd get a e more even flame in here. Uh, but anyway, they're working. Uh, again, that mortar missing at the upper profile area in that one as well. Giving you a price on re uh, repairing both fireboxes and removing that insulation. It's in your notes there. Uh, this damper must stay open 24-7 on this fireplace. The reason for that is you wouldn't want to close the damper, forget to open it, not even one time, and fire up those logs because you'd fill the house up with carbon monoxide. You're not going to see or smell it. It's not like wood burning. So the state of North Carolina wants a damper kept open 24-7. Uh, view of the flue system there. Let's go up on top. Both chimney caps are rusty, right? But they're both doing their thing. And remember, chimney caps are not code required in the state of North Carolina. You don't have to have them. But they are nice that they are on there. They require a little bit of paint when they get to looking like this. You can see that. And also, both of them have some minor cracks in the crown. You can see that easily. So what uh, I recommended was that a painter or handyman sometime go up and paint those and caulk the cracks to keep the water out of the body of the chimney. Questions for me, give me a call at 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.